Welcome to Perimeter with Mr. J. Here we are at the mastery check for Perimeter where you are going to try some problems on your own to see if you have Perimeter down. If you're looking for a little more help or instruction, head over to my instructional video. I dropped the link in the description. So check that out and then come back to the mastery check. If you're ready for the mastery check, you should have something to write with and write on. I'm going to say pause here in a few seconds. When I do, pause the video, solve these four problems. You have three shapes to find the perimeter of and one word problem. When you have those four problems complete, go ahead and press play. Check your work with mine to see if you have it down. So you should have something to write with and write on. Go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. I'm assuming you have those four problems done. So let's see how you did. So number one, we have a triangle. So we have three sides to add up. Remember perimeter, the distance around. So make sure you hit all the sides and add them up. So we have eight plus three plus 10. We have all the sides included there. So let's do our math. 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 10 is 21 you should have for number 1. And don't forget your unit of measure, that is very important. Number 1 is feet, so 21 feet. Number 2, we have a rectangle. Now if you did 12 plus 20, that's only halfway around that rectangle. You need to go all the way around. All four sides need to be included. So I always like to fill in the unknowns. So we have a 20 inch, 20 inch, 12 and 12. So anything that isn't marked, you can fill in that way you make sure you don't forget about it. So our perimeter is going to equal 20 plus 20 plus 12 plus 12. So let's calculate that, add that up. 20 plus 20 is 40, plus 12 is 52, plus another 12 is 64, and our unit of measure is inches, so 64 inches. That's the distance all the way around that rectangle. So let's take a look at number three here. Let's find our perimeter. And we have a five-sided shape, a five-sided polygon here. So do we remember what a five-sided shape is called polygon hopefully you are thinking pentagon so we need to include all five of our sides here i'm going to start up top with this four so we have four plus four plus three plus two plus three so let's calculate that and we get perimeter equals four plus four is eight plus three is eleven plus two is thirteen plus another three is 16. And our unit of measure is meters. Now, if you did three plus three, then plus two, then plus four, plus four, it doesn't matter what order you are adding them up. You just need to make sure you include all sides. Number four, we have our word problem. A rectangular backyard has a width of 30 yards and a length of 27 yards. What is the perimeter of the backyard? So I'm going to, going to draw a picture here. And it's almost a square. All the sides are almost the same, but we got a, the length is a three yards longer, so a little bit longer here. So I'll do uh, 30 yards and 27. And I'm going to fill in all of my sides. All right, so we have perimeter equals 30 plus 30 plus 27 plus 27. So let's calculate. 30 plus 30 is 60 plus 27. If you get to that point, if you can mental math this, perfect, but I always like to write things out, make sure. So we have our 30 and 30 is 60. 
We have another 27, so let's add that off to the side. It's always okay to do some work over to the side. Zero plus seven is seven, six plus two is eight. So we have 87, and then we have one more 27. So you might need to do another problem, and that's fine. Make sure you get the right answer. It doesn't matter if you do it quickly or you do your work to the side. Speed doesn't matter. Make sure you have it correct. So seven plus seven, is 14, one plus eight is nine, plus another two is 11. So we get to 114, check your unit of measure, it was yards. So you should have had 114 yards for our word problem. So there it is, that's the perimeter mastery check. Hopefully you did well and you have the concept down. Remember. Perimeter is the distance around a shape or figure, and you need to add up all of the sides. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, peace.